टेंशन फ्री कर दिया ना फाइव नंबर को एमपीसीसी ना तरह आप लोग चले नशे की तो जगह तो ये बहुत प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस ऐसे कोई सीनियर स्पोक्स पर्सन एमपीसीसी सी नंबर बुकिंग तो भी तय ना कोई कुछ सर्विस एक्सटेंशन ऑफ चीफ सेक्रेटरी मणिपुर की मतान ला वापस सिंधु की गनी है कि एक्सट्रीम लेफ्ट तलेंजन बिरिबा इस अटैक से गए सुई एजिटेंसिंग जनरल सेक्रेटरी एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एमपीसीसी दुबई इस आवंटन की बंकिंग सेंटर में तेज सेक्रेटरी एमपीसीसी इसलिए निम्न बंबू के नदी तेज ना वापस सिंधु की गनी मणिपुर की चीफ सेक्रेटरी की रिटायर्ड सरकारवाह चीफ सेक्रेटरी सर्विस की मासार महा की अमूक एक्सटेंशन तो हुआ आई बिलीव महा कसी रिटायर्ड सरकारवाह मतुन हाथर एक्सटेंशन तो हुआ मतुन ला अमूक नो हाथर को मां एक्सटेंशन तो नहीं लगी ना मुक्त ना काम है कि वो तेरे में Tolong dia harga mayang desu, mayang di public domain dah terbik. Nasib mari bersih dah. Sip sekretari hari itu pos asih, hatiru kuma mungkin matung dah. Amu kasih second time hatiru kuma masih main sun extension tau itu thamba. Sip sekretari dah nanti nanti department kaya amu ke hero department mayang kuma chief engineer mayang kuma. पीएम जी एसवाई की चीफ इंजीनियर वगैरह वाटर रिसोर्सेस की वगैरह इलेक्ट्रिसिटी की वगैरह अतः मम्मी दा हेल्थ डिपार्टमेंट की वगैरह सिर्फ मत डायरेक्टर्स चीफ इंजीनियर्स हेल्थ डिपार्टमेंट्स में आम आम डिटेल्स अगर हो तो हाँ जन हाँ जन एक्सटेंशन तो होगा तब बाप शिक्षक सरकार कर्म मशीनी सरकार Apoi ahan betul awal ini sih, awal ini sih, nasi ini best buat awal ini sih, awal ini sih ramai yang tuh ena. Impact times na, impact times ke sih liter, koi sih dingu kumuk sana ini, masa macam kita. Tapi ni sampai sixteen Mei tu dah tu sana tu sih dah. Sih ke sih ke, ini sih dah, ya awal ini sih, no action taken lah from the India's officials, A E continues to hold office in M I after super end ni sih, ni sih dah. Hai ini sih. क्या बोले डिसीजन है माँ अप्रैल की तारीख को हम 2017 का मणिपुर की सरकार नाम लाखों मणिपुर की सरकार जिप मिनिस्टर श्री एन बीएन ना जिप माँ महान जीए तो क्या बोले डिसीजन है माँ अप्रैल की तारीख को हम 2017 का क्या बोले डिसीजन है हाई में लव जिप करी भी नो हाई में तंज जिप रिटायर करो मेंगी एम्प्लॉयज Tahu ni hari ni kita kunci juta boleh reinvest tahu ni hari na kebenda kita ni sih nama lorong ber. Sekarang sih na si payah korup apa bijak bijak kan lama korup apa si bijak na siem boleh korup apa hari ni macam tu na April ni tahun tu dah tu sebenarnya kita ni kebenda ni sih nama lorong ber hari na media sih na su sih tu pandan lah layu ni hari ni detail sih kerap official reinvest tahu ni lori hari. Aduh ni macam tu na. Hujung sana, Chief Secretary, Department Executive tak kau lagi yang nomor dua post Chief Secretary itu post si, ada ni ada na, six months extension tahu, betul tak? Amu kosong six months extension tahu. Masih Manipur ki ayah officer single civil list, Chief Secretary hujung lagi bersih, si dah lagi jadi, Dr Rajesh Kumar, mak ni betul tak dah lagi bersih? सेनेबिटी डा सिरी एमएस खां मनमुन हसन खां अदु बापू जी सेम बेस नहीं 1988 बेस सेम बेस मतलब डा लाइक बसी अब कोई की सीधा डॉक्टर लेखो भी नहीं आओगे सिर 1988 बेस एडिशनल सिप सेक्रेटरी एमएस खां सु एडिशनल सिप सेक्रेटरी अदु की सीरियस के दिए परमन 1988 बेस Azizna mana Union Government na deputation tu lagi. Ha ini si, apa yang hari ini si 1988 ke base si dah. Dr Rajesh Kumar masa macam sehingga mana yang mana retirement, setahun tu mana 
करप्शन से एक्सपोज तो हमने होगा ना बच्चा नसी चीफ सेक्रेटरी एक्सटेंड तो होगा चीफ इंजीनियर एक्सटेंड तो होगा डायरेक्टर में आम एक्सटेंड तो भाई उस पर में आम एक्सटेंड तो बसे वेरी फ्यू सेलेक्टेड सिंसी तो लोगों ने रह रखा करप्शन जो सुधर हिंदु नबी मसाम हो रहा है मधु हो रहा है तो आगे नसी मणिपुर से मणिपुर से करप्शन के बीच लोग इंडिया है तो वो एक दो ही बना अन्य तो बीजेपी रजिन से अगर ना अपने ना है जो नेवी पोषित करी ना है मतलब जो मसी की कंटिन्यूएशन जो सुन ताऊ ले रहा है टाइम चलो काम जो सुन अन्य ना करो हमारे लगा ले रहे थे एमसीएस में आम हम आईएएस का प्रमोशन क्यों कर दबा एमपीएस में आम हम आईपीएस का प्रमोशन क्यों कर दबा अरे अतुल तो अपा लोअर डिवीजन तो कि हाईर डिवीजन तो लाते तो वो इम्प्लॉयमेंट इम्प्लॉयस में आम हम मकोई के असार को हलत रहे ओनली वे इफ यू खरना मतलब उन्हें फाम का मकोई खत्म ना दूं हंदर ना हंदर डिटेमिन्स अलग हो तुम लाएगे Nepotism is at the highest level of nepotism. Is it is nothing but it is a very naked form of corruption. How many? Only our military, our competent officers, we are not there. 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 Tahu tu, yang anda lebih dah mukti nanti nak continue tahu lebih dah mukti. Very very few selected officers katakan, ada heads of the field dah, financial authority, signatory authority, itu apa? Makoi decision making power dah makoi itu apa? Then tu after retirement, ada tu role saya ada pada, ada tu dia okey kita sampulah dalam office ni boleh dalam tu jawab dia pada. Berapa yang dia masih mani pusing dah, mani pusing board governance, layar dia, miss governance ni ada pada, mani pusing masih bahar kiri. कर्प्शन के लिए लोग इंडिया है लोग वो ही आम है ना कुछ हम लोग अधूरा अब कोई ना मुझे हम दिल्ली में सीना मस्माइन का तो रोकते हैं कोई अनुभव बाकी लोग अनुभव थिंकिंग तो मसी मणिपुर सी तो लाख रोज मणिपुर की प्रजाना मणिपुर की नहासी का पान बा जो उस भी हो सही के आधा सही कुछ इंगे था वो अशुभ ना हाफ़ उन्हें हर मम्मा तो भी सरकार को लाभ उसे नहीं दिया मसीह फंग में भी लाए थे ना ऑफिसर को इतने लाए थे पर मैं हमारा आपको भी प्रमोशन भी लाए थे अब तक फिर भी था अगर मसीह का शेख हर गदी इट्स अ वेरी वेरी सीरियस फियर सो द पॉइंट रिमेंस इस माय फ्रेंड्स फॉर माय राइट नाउ � in the year 2017, on 3rd of April 2017, there was a cabinet decision. And the cabinet decision which was taken by the chairmanship of, under the chairmanship of the chief minister Dayan Mohan, who is also the chief minister right now at present, Sri N. Singh, has taken decision to discontinue or not to continue any further engagement or any new engagement of any retired government servant at the point. And this was reflected in all the media houses, including in, in, in even in an article uh, written by Mr. Riku Pumusan, the editor of the Fall Times, is dated uh, on 16th of May 2017. This has been a point of time and that too, through his cabinet decision, has taken not to continue any retired government officials way back in 2017. But what has happened today in the year 2022? The chief secretary who is already 60 years old, who is already superannuated, has been given two times, two terms of opportunity of getting extended twice, each of six months each. So recently, yesterday, we have got a notification coming from the government of the day that uh, Dr. Rajesh Kumar is going to get extended to be a chief secretary for another six months, despite getting an extension for another six months, in preceding another term of six months. So the, the, the question remains is, why is Manipur Chief Minister not honoring his own work? He has taken a capital decision way back not to discontinue, not to continue any engagement of any retired government officials or employee. If that is so, he should also continue to honor his own work. By having said that, he should not have recommended or requested for the continuation of, or extension of the service of Dr. Rajesh Kumar, the Chief Secretary. For another six months. So, friends, we believe that despite going against his own cabinet decisions, this government of the day has also not 
taken a view seriously. Here is the Prophet's memorandum, dated 01 December 2022 of the OPT, in which there's a list of officials which have been given as an exception for getting exemption despite their superannuation. They are Foreign Secretary, Foreign Secretary, Home Secretary, or Director CDR, or Civil, or Business, or Eminent Scientist, or, or Specialist in the field of Medical or Scientific Fields. These are some exceptions. But in these exceptions, including Cabinet Secretary, but in these exceptions, there is no mentioning of the work of Chief Secretary. There is no way that Chief Secretary can be uh, extended despite after his retirement for another six months and again for another six months. There is no mentioning of such provision, proviso here in the office memorandum circulated by DOPT that to, in the latest DOPT's office memorandum dated 01 of December 1st of December 2020. So we believe that it is a gross violation of the provisions which have been given by DOPT. Hence, the concept of rule of law is getting demolished in this present BGP regime. We are also not arguing, not on the basis, we are also questioning the government. Imagine that if the chief secretary or if the or chief engineer or directors or head of departments or many departments, if they are going to get extended despite their retirement, despite they get their super invited or despite their retirement, what happens is their immediate officers, there are many additional chief secretaries who come to become chief secretary. There are many additional directors who are competent to become directors. There are many additional chief engineers who are competent to become chief engineers. So what is happening right now? If you make one particular person or if you make a few selected officials or officials who are in hand and glove with you because you are in power, then in another way you are encouraging nepotism. You are, this is nothing but you are encouraging corruption. Because at the expense of so many officers, here in the state of Manipur, because administration is quite large. We, are, we, we, we would like to see good governance in the state of Manipur. But if you don't allow the, chief, the additional chief secretaries to become a chief secretary, if you don't give an opportunity to the additional director, or the additional chief engineer to become a chief engineer, then what ultimately, what precisely you are doing is nothing but you are encouraging bad governance, which is nothing but misgovernance. So, if this is the scenario, then where will the concept of new thinking come into this governance? And if this continues, then there will be no effectiveness, there will be no efficiency among the officers. Because officers will get demoralized, the government officers will also get demoralized. Right from the PO to the officers level, they are going to get demoralized. Because they don't see any hope in the department. They don't see any hope for even for their own promotion. So friends, what we are seeing right now is, we have seen, there are few more officers, like Dr. Rajesh Kumar belongs to 1988 batch. But in the same batch, there are other two additional chief secretary, they are both additional chief secretary, Mr. Haukip and Mr. Amazon. They both belong, both belong to 1988 batch. But then, none of them have met the chief secretary so far. There are also other chief, additional chief secretary, maybe from 1989 batch or 1990 or 1991 batch. So the question is, is there any harm or is there any bar that in the state of Manipur that a Muslim IS officer cannot become chief secretary in the state or a Christian IS officer cannot become chief secretary in the state. We would like to see a Muslim IS officer becoming the chief secretary in the state. We would like to see uh, all a Christian IS officer uh, becoming a chief secretary in the state. In fact, we would like to see someone from the Hill also becoming chief secretary of the state because after all, they are IS officers of Manipur Kappa. They have been, they have given their life. When they joined the service at years of way back, when they were 30, 23 years or 24 years, they have joined the service. They have joined IES in Manipur Kappa. Some of them, those who are not from Manipur, they have married even our local uh, women, local ladies. They have, they have become a part of this society, our own Manipuri society. The children, they speak Manipuri, all of them speak Manipuri. I have, I have seen Mr. Amish Khan speaks Manipuri very well, very fluently. So the point is, what is the harm if we make I wrote this additional chief secretaries? Let there be anyone, but at least the IS officers should be in service. Because this is the post of chief secretary. This is not a mere director or mere chief engineer or mere mere secretary post. This is the post of chief secretary. If they, it appears that it seems that there is no other IS officer in the entire state of Manipur who, in the eyes of the present BJP government, is not competent to become chief secretary, except one fellow who keeps getting re extended not only once but twice 
We fear that he also may get excellent for another term, for third term. Now, if that continues, then where is the root of the root? Where are the provisions from the Theopi de Sakura? And is that the way how we are going to motivate the officers at the grassroots level, officers at the middle level, officers at the top level? And is, if that is the way how the government is going to take place, then we, uh, we fear that the Manipur administration is uh, going to have a tough time. And if the administration in Manipur is going to have a tough time, how do we expect that there will be good governance in the entire state of Manipur? So the point is, this is nothing but a selected few officers are being appointed, re-appointed, engaged, re-engaged again and again to be at the hands of fear by also giving them the authority to even not only to have the financial authority but also the signatory authority so that they sign and they get nexus with some of the leaders. Those who are in the power, hands with powers, and that is how they loot. That is how the nepotism is being promoted in the entire state. That is how corruption is being promoted here in the state. That is why it is nothing surprising to say that Manipur indeed has or is becoming the corruption capital of India. Recently we have gone to the Prime Minister and submitted the loot of 7,000. 1,700 rupees crores came in PMTS of GSY under the leadership of our Congress President of the state, Mr. K. Mahesh Now, we go to the Prime Minister. Even the data is there. That, look, we would like to have a CBA inquiry then and there itself. So, if such systems continue, if the extension continues, then this government led by Chief Minister CM Bain is dishonoring his own cabinet decision taken, which was taken by back on the 3rd of April 2017. Secondly, this government is also ensuring that there should be a misgovernance by demotivating the other competent officers who can become chief secretary, who can become head of departments. And if this system continues, then we are afraid that Manipur is going somewhere which is not acceptable to the people of Manipur and to the future of Manipur. And therefore, we demand strongly that the government has to rethink and the, this government should honor its own cabinet decision that is to discontinue or not to continue or not to engage any government employees after their retirements. Thank you.